Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to add and connect a drawer layout to the navigation component. A drawer layout is a sliding view that slides in when you swipe the screen with your fingers. Or if you have connected it with a navigation component, you can press on the hamburger icon to open it as well. If you're new to the navigation component, be sure to watch the video on how to set up the navigation component and have it set up before continuing. The video for that is posted in the video description. To begin, implement the drawer layout in the project. Go to the app level build grader file and add the implementation. For the latest version, visit the Android developer website posted in the video description. Sync the project and go to the layout that you want the drawer to appear. If you want the drawer to appear on all pages of the navigation component, you will choose the layout with the navigation host. If you want the drawer to appear on a specific page, you will select the individual page in the navigation component. Swap into the code view and change the root layout type into a drawer layout. In addition, you need to provide two things the content, and the drawer. Swap into the design view. In the palette, select layout and add a layout that you want to use for the content. In the palette again, search for navigation view and add it to the layout as well. Have the navigation view selected and go to the attributes pane. Set the width to wrap content and then search for layout gravity. If layout gravity do not show up, swap into the code view and add it manually to the navigation view. Swap back to the design view. Refresh the attributes by clicking on another item in the layout and then back to the navigation view. Click on the flag icon and select start. If we take a look at the preview, the navigation view became the view for the sliding drawer. Give the navigation view and the drawer layout an ID. Now we need to create the menu items for the navigation view. Right click on the res folder. Go to New, Android Resource File. Give the file a name. Then select Menu for the resource type. Go to the Menu File. In the palette, add a menu item for each page in the navigation component. Once you have your menu items, select each menu. Rename it and give it the same ID for the page in the navigation graph. Since this menu is for page 1, in the navigation graph, the ID for page 1 is page 1. So for the ID of the menu, I will put page 1. Similarly, I will do the same for the other menus. After you have the menu file set up, go back to the layout with the drawer layout. Select the navigation view and search for menu in the attributes pane. For the value, pass in the menu file. Since the menu file is in the menu directory of the res folder, we do add menu and then the name of the file. Go to the fragment or activity class file with the drawer layout. For a fragment, right click on the open area. Select Generate, Override Methods, and then find the on view created method. Inside the method, get the reference of the navigation view and the navigation controller.
Lastly, grab the navigation UI class and call the setup with nav controller method. Pass in the navigation view for the first parameter and the navigation controller for the second parameter. If we run the app and swipe from left to right, the drawer will appear with our menu items for each page. If we select another menu item, we will transition to that page. Since I placed the drawer layout in page 1, only page 1 will have the drawer. Let's see how we can connect the drawer layout with a toolbar. Go to the layout file with the drawer layout. In the palette, search for toolbar and add it to the content layout. Since I'm using a constraint layout, I need to add the constraints. If you're using another layout, make sure to set the attribute for it to be visible. Then give the toolbar an ID. Go to the class file with the toolbar. In the onViewCreator method, define a reference for the toolbar and the drawer layout. Make sure to select the implementation for Android X for the toolbar. The next step is to add the information from the navigation graph to the drawer layout. Declare app bar configuration object after the navigation controller object and initialize it. Type new app bar configuration dot builder. Inside the parentheses, pass in the navigation graph from the navigation controller. And then add it to the drawer layout by calling the set drawer layout method. Lastly, build the object. After the first setup with nav controller method, grab the navigation UI class and call the setup with nav controller method again. This time, pass in the toolbar, the navigation controller, and then the app bar configuration object. The first setup with nav controller method is to link the navigation component with the drawer. The second call is to link the drawer with the toolbar. If we run the app, we will see a toolbar. If we click on a hamburger icon, it will open the drawer. That's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.